Thanks for joining us here on the Road Runner Review, but really, where else would you rather be? We have one of, if not the men's. <laughs> blooper reel. Here we go. You have a lot to live <coughs> up to. I know. After what Peter and I do. I don't know where this hair comes from. I don't even have a cat. Thanks for joining us here on the Road Runner Review, but really, where else would you rather be? You know, we have the best men's basketball. Men Alrighty. It's a great start. <laughs> I like coughed or something. That was weird. <laughs> the what? I, I didn't hear coughed? anything. No, it was like when I said beautiful, it was like. Yeah. <coughs> I guess we're doing do it, it again. again Kevin. Okay, whenever she's ready to roll, All you right. count yourself down, honey child. <laughs> Honey child. Ooh, honey child. Honey child. All right, in three, two. 3.19. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, 3.91 grade point average. I can only wish. <laughs> <laughs> TV just wasn't so good. People would study more. <laughs> right? 3.45 right here. <laughs> 3.45? Damn, you're smarty pants. I got straight A's last Aww. semester, including that ethics class. I had a B class. plus. Five A's and a B plus. I was like, damn, it's so close. Okay. Oh, thanks. Nice. Good to know. Hey, we're all over Good to know. I, I You know, you're not on a camera. You don't matter. 3.0. I'm above average. Okay. All right. Great job, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. Fellow guard Brandon Jefferson hits back-to-back -back threes late in the first half to put his team up 43 to 38. Second half now, and Metro's offense is rolling. Miller's 3-2. Miller finds Jonathan Morris in the paint for the layup and the foul. The big man from Boulder put in 12 points and added eight rebounds. How about some easy help? 3-2. How about some help from the bench? Deshaun Phoenix with a fake and the easy lane to the basket. Roadrunners cruise to the 92 to 71 win. There it is. In alley oop, that is, you, that is, you, that is, you, that is. On to Golden, where Metro took on Colorado Mines, and let's flash back to the last time these two teams played in the. Metro again in transition. Jefferson to K for the alley oop. There it is. Metro runs away with the 88 to 71 win to remain the only unbeaten team in the RMAC. Boom! <laughs> <sighs> I'm Terry leaving. Is back. I'm leaving. Long like us in front of the camera. We're probably gonna screw this up a couple times. You are. You are. We'll see. They will be challenged in January, including a date with the top five powerhouse. Stay tuned to find out how they did. We're coming right back on the Roadrunner Review. Spoiler alert, they lost. <laughs> <laughs> what a <is> shit. <laughs> Um, hmm? oh. <laughs> Paula just said that we need to switch you, Peter, out for me. That's just Paula's opinion. As long as I'm still here. Just, as long as you're good. We can switch you out for Eric if you want. Oh, and that'd be Whoa. You could be the news girl. Yay! Can yeah. I wear a pretty dress? No. I got cleavage. <laughs> Welcome back. Time to get caught up with hey. the women's basketball team. The Roadrunners rebounding off a top two and four in November to go four and one in the month of December. And a huge part of that can comes from Todd. We don't want to use any of your words. Splapper. No splapper. Splapper. Every time you use splapper, splapper. I'm gonna market that. You have to. We're all gonna get splapper tattoos after this. Please no. And a huge part of that comes from the three seniors who have found the roles in head coach Tanya. Head coach. Head coach Tanya Hobby's offense. She sells seashells by the seashore. As they head into January with some big tests ahead of them. I didn't like the way I said that. So I guess we're doing it again. Yes, we are. Justin, coming through in the clutch. Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> Kristen Valencia recorded five steals and took over seven plates. What was that? Plate. Tough battle indeed. And they did respond the next night to earn a convince. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
lead. They did, however, battle back with a convincing seven point. Now, oh. save the next night. You said they whooped their butts. How about that? Emily Wood kicks and taking names. Don't curse next to me. I'm your superior. Poo. All right, it's better. We got a bump shot. Go total hipster and get a camera shot of a camera. Tell Dave, I'll see him after school <laughs> at the flagpole. Flag <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Looks like those super sophomores are gonna wreak separate words. Separate words. Wreak havoc. <laughs> Three, two. In her own, Justin Taylor sits down with women's basketball star Cassie Lambrecht, who tells us her long and arduous journey to Metro State. Don't go anywhere. Arduous. You like that, Jay? Arduous. Spear Street Smasher. Before <laughs> they say, before they say, before they say, before. Welcome back to the Roadrunner Review. We're staying on the diamond in this segment as the Roadrunner softball team is coming off a winning 2002. Two, three, two. 2002, huh? Yeah, man. <laughs> I'd like to thank Manti Teo's girlfriend for joining us on the show. <laughs> or the person that originally invented it. This is Barack Obama. Thank you, Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. While the team did finish with a winning record last season, the RMAC tournament run didn't quite end as well as they hoped for a year. Went off script again. Take three. Take three. But with the conference's leading pitcher and the... Son of a gun. Rusty, aren't you? A little bit. Thanks, Kevin. While the team did finish with a winning record last season, their RMAC tournament run didn't quite end the way that second-year head coach Christy Lansford and the team expected. But with the conference's leading nope. pitcher and the league's top two... Uh, I was doing so well. So far. You were bound to <laughs> screw it up at one point. Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Eric. We still have top plays and an exclusive interview with women's basketball guard Cassie Lambrecht. You don't want to miss this incredible story of determination and drive for the game she loves. We'll be right back. Come on. For the game she loves. Really hit that. She loves the game. Yes. <laughs> I don't love it, but she's apparently loves it. She's aight with it. <laughs> All right. Before you know it, the season is already over. Isn't it the truth? All right, well, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Isn't it the truth? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> well, great stuff, but before you know it, season's over. Isn't it the truth? And while our. It is the truth. It is the truth. All right. Thanks, Justin. Now it's time for the top plays from the month of January, and they are brought to you by Miller Coors. We'll start off with some indoor. Men's sprinter John Clark breaks the school record in the 60 meters back on January 12th at the Air Force All Comers meet. The junior finished the race in 6.94 seconds, which was previously held by. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> on to play number four, and it's a three point of Palooza from the women's game against New Mexico Highlands at home. The runners drained nine in the first half alone and finished with 11. It wasn't that good of a call. Get out of here. It was a great call. My call. That was our own Todd Diamond as the runners defeated the Hawks 71 to 65 to remain unbeaten. Number one in the nation. So much fun to watch. <laughs> we put you on the spot and then you don't even say anything. That's Paula. All right, you know what? <laughs> a little nervous. Like... Turn off the mic. I'm like, that's incredible. That's amazing. What do I say? <laughs> yeah, just turn it off. You said incredible. <laughs> 